Hey, this is Brainwaves and in this video I'm going to show you how to 10x your speed in Ableton. So if every time that you start a new track or a new idea or something, you find yourself scrolling through a lot of samples like kick samples and stuff like that just to find like a perfect one and you just do this for way too much time, I feel like this tutorial could help you. I was also doing that for a long time. What I do now is I create a favorite sound folder in my user library and then I have subfolders with my favorite sounds like for example my favorite kicks, my favorite hats, my favorite snares. So just to give you an example of how you can do this, you first create a folder and you can name it whatever like favorite sounds. Then inside there you right click and create a new folder which is going to be inside of that folder that you already created and uh, let's say that i'm going to do one for bases right after that what you do is right click show in explorer and now just click ctrl f and type base so right now this is going through all the results of the word base so I know that this is every base that I have in my library. As you can see, it's like a ton of them. Um, and this is going to take some time for sure. But once you're set with it, it's pretty good. Because after that, there is like a folder dedicated to your favorite bases. And you can be like constantly updating it and everything. I'm just going to put some of my bases in there. Let's say that I want that one, so I just, and I'm just going to drag and maintaining control and that's going to copy the base into, that's going to copy the base into the folder. So you just do that for all the bases that you want to include. And then the next step, you go back to your folder and then you can put that into a collection. I have a collection called favorites and that's where I have all my favorite sounds. What you do is right click on the folder that you just created and you can add it to that collection and now you don't have to you know go and look for the library on your user library and see which one is it and then open it in here. Then you just have it on favorites so it's pretty simple you know. You can just do that with a lot of other things that doesn't have to be sounds. For example, I have like my favorite instruments in here, which also has like instruments that I created. Then I have my favorite effect racks that I use all the time, my favorite Max for Life devices, favorite stock plugins, favorite third party plugins. But yeah, the, the same principle applies. Just, you know, take your time to create like a folder with your favorite sounds the ones that you know that you're gonna need for every song so for example kicks and snares um, hi-hats and all the drums that you're gonna need for every song you're gonna notice real quick then that you're gonna have like a top five of kicks that you always use um, and that's completely fine you don't need to you know have a new kick for every song I certainly don't um, well, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, I think it's a basic one, but it's really, really good to have your sample library organized in some type of way. So yeah, uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like, and I hope I see you around.